bem forte para, em cima disso, a gente conseguir levantar um prédio bem estruturado que não vai cair. Então, o Ani, o Ani novo que o que o Abgado, uh, he wanted to build uh, a foundation for for the athletes there that will never will never break down, will never fall. So, creating that foundation for him and for all of us, like me and the devil, is the key to have a good jiu-jitsu practitioner. Okay, if you don't have base you will pay the price as the level goes down. Okay? It happens a lot today, like people wanted to go, like, I want to learn very bold before I know how to break guard. Well, but you can only do very bold if you are out of the guard. So if you don't know how to even break the guard, how are you going to do that? So that's the biggest problem that we face today in Jiu-Jitsu. People want to know the hard equations without knowing how to do one plus two, okay? Então vamos começar aqui com a primeira base que foram umas vezes que eu aprendi e uma das primeiras que eu arrastava um pouco de arrastar a fez. So he's gonna show one of his first guards that he learned how to do it and he never done on me. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Primeira coisa, controlar bem os dois braços. The first thing is the sleeve control. You have to have a very good sleep control. Para ele não para eu poder abrir a guarda de uma maneira confortável para mim, não para ele. So he opens um, his guard on his own terms, like in a way that is comfortable for him, not for me. O que eu vou fazer aqui agora? Eu vou abrir nas duas pernas, vou dominar os dois braços, abrir nas duas pernas e vou chegar no quadril para trás e pro lado. Ó. E quando eu chegar no quadril para trás e pro lado, automaticamente eu escolho um lado e boto meu pé no quadril. So he's gonna open his leg, place on the ground so he can make a hip escape, okay? And as soon as he does the hip escape, he, he can go either side, so he chose to go this side, but he can go either way. Quando eu botar o pé no quadril, ao mesmo tempo, eu vou recolher uma perna entre os braços dele e pressionar com a minha canela no ombro. As soon as he places his foot on the, on the hip, he's gonna move his other knee and place it right at my shoulder. Do you guys remember Danny Savory uh, showing this? So this is a similar situation. So Danny did the spider guard, okay? And this, what I was just showing, is also one of my favorite uh, ways to start uh, my guard. Continuo com o domínio aqui. Essa perna aqui, eu vou entrar aqui dentro dele com o gancho e vou, me, vou levar minha cabeça na direção do jeito dele. Isso aqui, ó. So, he's gonna move his leg down and goes as a hook on the leg, okay? At the same time, he's gonna move his upper body so he can reach my pants. Agora, aqui, como é que a gente vai fazer a raspada? Eu vou pressionar minha canela no ombro dele para frente e pro lado, ó. So, the way he does the... the the sweep, he pushes me back and then start going towards the side, okay? So this takes me off the base and the other one finishes the job, okay? Quando eu fizer isso, pressionar minha canela para frente e pro lado, eu entro mais um pouquinho aqui e vou ajudar com o gancho com a mão na calça para raspar ele para lá, vou fazer a posição direta. Daqui. Eu largo a mão na calça, mão no quadril. Aqui agora. Alright, so he does that knee motion on the shoulder, okay, to create leverage. And as soon as he goes to the top, he can add the pass right there. So you're not going to be waiting too much. You, sometimes you make a sweep and you have to kind of pass the guard, you have to place your hip, your, your grips. So what he's doing is just going to sweep the pass at, almost at a single motion, so it doesn't give your opponent chances to defend, okay? Fazer tudo junto, né? É, fazer direto. Então agora fazer direto. Só right. que você, quando eles forem fazer a posição, fazer tipo um drill. Ok. Passa fechada, bicho. So, you want you guys to, when you decide, or when we, when we tell you to go, to go uh, train the technique, to make as a, uh, like, it looked like a drill, okay? So, snap and go, um, 
until you reach that spot that you can make a sweep, okay? Yeah. So we're gonna rip it on the sleeves, step on the ground, scoop your hips, put in a... A bit of a Yeah. It's like a bit of a the tail here is like to move the head Towards this side. Because if you try, if you try without moving your upper body, the pants get too far, and it's hard to make a grip and just ride on the on it. Because it's not a lot of fabric. Okay, uh, this is a completely legal pants, and it still don't have a lot of fabric. So when he moves, he can kind of find a good grip, um, so he can succeed on his um, sweep. Are you pushing off that? Is he pushing off that back? If he's pushing this one, not yet. To help get over. Not yet. No. No. no he, he actually like the sleeve control is what makes the difference because I can't move as much, but he doesn't start pushing, so I don't react so much for that position before he sets up. O detalhe que eu esqueci de falar quando eu for me aproximar, eu entro aqui dentro de baixo de você para poder tirar o seu centro de gravidade aqui. Okay. Um, it's a detail that I, sometimes we do the technique for so long that one or two details go, goes away, but he likes to move his hips back in a little bit. See, when he catch my pants, all right, so he's moving back a little, okay? When he does that, he can use his legs in a, in a better and a stronger way. Okay, so he makes that motion back sideways and use his hand to help the sweep. So the sweep is not just towards his side, not just about his leg, but his arm and the bottom leg, they all work together to make that sweep. Okay? <laughs> We we're just going to finish explaining and then we switch it. Side and use my hand. You're on the bed. Alright, guys. One, two, three. 